Hey, this is Epimetheus. In this video, I'll be going over the difference between a killing, a homicide, manslaughter, and murder, and more. First, I'll be going over a short story that's two minutes, and then I'm going to break down the explanation of what crime did each of the events fall into. One evening, Jason the Jerk was watching the season finale of House of Walking Thrones. He then called his friend, Rosie, who he knew had not seen it yet, and gave her the ending of the story. House of the Walking Thrones was Rosie's life, and she began immediately plotting the downfall of Jason. Rosie then purchased a gun and began observing Jason's schedule to see when he left to work every morning. Two weeks later, she was finally ready to go through with it. While walking to her car early in the morning, Bert the burglar jumped out of a bush in her front yard and said, I'm gonna shoot you and take all the stuff in your house. Rosie then pulled out her gun and shot Bert in the head. While leaving her residential neighborhood, going 20 miles over the speed limit, she struck the jaywalking Donnie the Drunk, killing him instantly. There was slightly more traffic than usual that morning, and Rosie decided she was going to drive on the sidewalk. She reasoned pedestrians would be quick enough to jump out of the way. Archibald, who was walking his pet cat that morning, however, was too deep in thought to notice her car speeding down the sidewalk at 90 miles per hour. Rosie finally arrived at Jason's house where she waited at the front porch for 20 minutes until he was finally ready to leave to work. He opened the front door, and she shot him in the head. While looking for a police station to turn herself in, Lenny the linguist was walking her way. Rosie asked him, Where police station? He replied, Oh, you mean where is the police station? She was not in the mood to have her grammar corrected, and shot him for killing him. The police station was finally within sight. Broke Bill, who had recently been paroled, grabbed her arm and said, Hey lady, give me money for the bus. She was frightened by the large man who had just assaulted her, and I bet you could guess what happened next. Now we will go over what crimes were most likely committed during Rosie's rampage when she killed each of these six persons. The first distinction we will make is that of homicide and killing. Homicide is simply an unlawful killing. In the case of Bert the Burglar, Rosie lawfully killed a trespasser who was threatening her life. This is not a homicide. Homicide has two major categories, murder and manslaughter, which is typically broken down into two categories, voluntary and involuntary manslaughter. When Rosie ran over Donnie the Drunk while speeding, this is a classical example of vehicular manslaughter which is a type of involuntary manslaughter. Other types of involuntary manslaughter include reckless behavior that results in someone's death and a death resulting from unlawful action. Voluntary manslaughter occurs when the unlawful killing was the result of adequate provocation, as occurred when Broke Bill assaulted Rosie. Provocation is said to be adequate if it would cause a reasonable person to lose self-control. This typically cannot be verbal, unless in the case of specific threats or in the elucidation of adultery. Murder is typically broken down into first and second degree. First degree, or premeditated murder, is necessary to be willful, premeditated, and deliberate, as in the case of Jason the Jerk. One of the biggest differences between different jurisdictions is how long premeditation is considered to be. Is it five minutes, an hour, a day, a week? that varies greatly. Second degree murder happens when the defendant has an intent to kill or cause grievous bodily harm that results in death, or knowing that it is likely to kill or cause grievous bodily harm that results in death. The primary difference between second degree murder and voluntary manslaughter is that voluntary manslaughter has adequate provocation. Second degree murder does not, as in the case when Rosie went and shot the man after her grammar was corrected. That is not adequate provocation. Finally, depraved heart murder is an action where the defendant acts with a depraved indifference to human life and where such an act results in a death. This obviously occurred when Rosie was speeding 90 miles per hour down the sidewalk, killing Archibald. And now you know the difference between these six types of killings. Let me know in the comments if the law is different where you live, in jurisdiction or country, and whether you would like to see more videos like this. This has been Epimetheus. Like, comment, and subscribe.